Hey guys, what's up? It's Mark. It's uh, been, uh, I guess, almost about three weeks and I really needed to get a video out. My apologies. Uh, last time we spoke, I was going on um, fall break vacation down the beach. Did a lot of eating and drinking while I was there. It was a great time though. Can't say too much about it, but you know, sure enough, when we came home upstairs, staring me right in the face is the Peloton bike. And it was it was pretty much hell trying to get back into it. I think the first week I was back, I only got four rides in, got my 450th ride in. And the week after that, still was not up to snuff in terms of my consistency and dread of getting on the bike. Um, this week though, kind of was getting into a different mindset. I think I had about 464 rides on by Sunday. Uh, I started getting into the mindset of, hey, I want to get 500 as quick as I can. I wanted to try to have a goal of getting it by November 1st, which meant I had to get about five rides a day in. Well, that's just not going to happen. Uh, it's My legs are sore and tired, and that's just not going to happen. So I have been good at getting about two to three rides in a day. I'm sitting at ride 474 right now, about to jump on, do another 45-minute ride in. And that'll actually be my first of the day. Tomorrow's my day off, so I might try to get five rides in or so, but I'll be a little bit over November 1st, I think, uh, by getting my 500 ride in, and that's okay. Um, locally, there's a new studio that just opened up. In fact, it's really the only studio that we have here in Huntsville, Alabama. And I actually went and took a class, and it was kind of funny because I walked in, there were probably 10, 10 other riders in the class, and there was a girl right there next to my bike, so I'm getting on, she looked at me, I had on a Peloton shirt. She looked at me, she goes, oh my gosh, you have a Peloton? I said, well, yeah, I do. And she goes, oh, I do too. And I was like, well, what's your reader, rider name? And she told me, and I was like, oh, I actually follow you. And she's like, I mean, she asked mine. And I was like, oh, it's a War Eagle. And she's like, oh, I do too. So she goes, yeah, you were on a ride earlier this week and you were zooming past me. Anyway, um, it's kind of funny because she's actually going to be an instructor at the uh, new facility as well. And I actually did purchase a, a 10 ride uh, package so um, it's just something different they do a lot more out of the saddle the bike is really totally different uh, but it was a great workout uh, I do hope they turned down the music though so it was kind of loud <coughs> but anyway um, like I say so I got 25 basically after my ride tonight I'll have 25 rides to get done so uh, I'm hoping maybe a little bit more than a week to get that done and um, we'll see. I'll, I'll be trying to push it as hard as I can. I uh, probably want to try to plan on Ride 500 with Matt Wilpers because uh, uh, the girl in the class asked me who my favorite instructor was and I had to say Matt at that point in time. So, but anyway, um, I will definitely put out a video come this Sunday, so that's like three or four days away, and give you an update of how close I'm getting. And anyway, it's been so fun and uh, but you know, it's one of those things, getting back into it. I'm a creature of habit, and this is the one thing I've found is if I do things consistently every single day, it's easy to do. But when I take that break and come back, it literally stinks to get back into it. So I know that's my fault and, and flaw, but I also can't do much about, about the vacations and everything. So, but anyway, um, I will talk to you again on Sunday, and I hope you have a great rest of the week. Take care.